what a uh, music video for good means, but I do know what your vote means, and that's a lot. Your vote means everything to me. It means everything to making a change in this country. So remember when you're voting for your favorite artists, vote to change some of these laws that are oppressing us. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, today we have uh, some interesting things. Obviously, you've seen that video where Liz was saying she's oppressed, right? Well, let me put this in, in perspective here for everybody to understand. Uh, black people are hardly ever oppressed in this country as of right now. They're actually more privileged. And the fact that you are oppressed, even though you have millions of dollars in your bank account, you're allowed to eat whatever the fuck you want and look that obese, and then you're also able to... Um, to have all of the opportunities that women do or, or privileges that women do is insanity to me. The fact that we have uh, the fact the thing is is that you're advocating for people to look like you to eat like you to be unhealthy like you and then to eventually die like you. And that's disgusting. Um, we keep on in today's society, we want to make people feel good. We want people to feel better about themselves by uh, telling them sweet nothings that really does nothing and actually harms them, uh, harms them in the, in, in the long run. And uh, and honestly, um, it hurt. It, it, it's not good when people are fat. Obviously, there is a way you would you would say it. But you need to be upfront about them and be honest to them, because telling them that they're healthy or telling them that they're that it's, that it's fine is not okay. You're actively trying to push them to to keep being the size that they are and make them unhealthy and make them potentially get diseases and stuff like that because you want to make them feel good. It's stupid. It's asinine, and it's not okay. People want to put up uh, uh, put put things like oh well because of all the hormones or whatever because the reason why she's obese you know, people are obese or whatever it's like no listen those are very rare cases and for one thing is that you can really work hard to make yourself not be obese to not make yourself be fat it's disgusting and or terrible to look at and it's it, besides just it, it's not okay to look at it's not good for your health man it's just not and it severely uh it, and I, I'm so sick and tired of trying to push this type of fantasy onto the people to where, uh, to where like, it's okay to be obese and to think that she is oppressed because of whatever thing. There is no laws oppressing you at all. If anything, there are laws trying to protect you more than anything. Black black people in general are not are not in threat. Uh, white people are actually more in threat than anything. And also, too, um, look at you. You're going to claim you're oppressed, but you have millions of dollars. You're not reaching the majority of people here. Because people that have millions of dollars are not like you. They have to work and maybe, maybe, maybe make forty, fifty thousand 50000 a year. That's just the reality of it. People do not have the ability to just buy whatever they don't want, buy the most expensive things, and then see what happens. No, that's not the case. You are actively causing issues and harming people in the long run. Because you're just not a good person, in my opinion. Now, let's go look at the comments and see what everybody's saying. We need to stop idolizing what celebrities say and think. Lizzo thinks she's oppressed. Oppressed people don't get the opportunity to eat as much as it would take to look like Lizzo. Exactly. Yeah. Especially in today's economy where uh, food is extremely, extremely expensive. Half the country agrees with her. The only thing that's oppressed is the stage that Lizzo's on. If anybody on earth can tell me what U.S. law is oppressing Lizzo right now, I'll appreciate it. Yep. Aw, she's so oppressed. Tracy Ullman's woke support group was years ahead of its time. Woke, which is talking, by the way. And then, of course, is a, is this whole stuff, we don't need to worry about that. So, what laws would those be? This outfit is the only thing oppressing me. What laws are oppressing you? Says the black woman holding a VMA. 
I love when rich people who clearly have had more than, more than enough food to eat complain about oppression. Sorry, which laws are oppressing her exactly? Simple question. Thank you, Dr. Fraser. Uh, okay, and then it says, which laws? She's a woman. She can't have an abortion in many states. She can't say gay or teach, teach students about her heritage in Florida if she wanted to do so. If she wanted to change her gender, she couldn't do it in certain states. She gonna have... Okay, listen, that's not a problem. And that's not her being oppressed at all. I'm sorry to say, it's just not. Women are not oppressed and and she can she can change her gender she just can't change her they just don't allow changing their gender if you're a kid again you're an idiot uh when you have constantly reminded of, of people of how suppressed and repressed you are otherwise you may all forget there's a good chance that you're not see uh see and they're constantly shitting on her and, and uh, all that. Name one. Let's get rid of it. Let also let they also let me to only fifty chicken nuggets in several parts of this country. So like, she seemed out of breath. She came in wearing a dress that probably weighed over a hundred pounds and had an internal temperature of over a hundred degrees. Like, here's the thing, guys: is that people don't reach to your level or don't reach to you or feel like you because obviously, because obviously, it doesn't resonate with them. Because you're high up here, they're all the way down here. And we don't resonate with people like this because we don't have that kind of money. Again, we don't have the ability. People are having had to work two jobs in order to feed themselves and all that. And she's saying she's oppressed. Again, like I said, what laws are oppressing her? And until we can finally really realize on <laughs> uh, how we can fix this problem, first off, by maybe not trying to say that people can be fat and and it's okay for them because that's probably one thing. And then another thing, another as well, is that all these celebrities and people are trying to uh, are trying to cater to the far woke stuff because that's what's popular right now. That's what's super crazy. But little do they know is that like majority of people don't think like them. Majority of people don't think of woke. Majority of people want to go about their go about their days, not deal with politics, work, and move on with life deal with life and that's the majority of people it's a small small amount of people that are being very loud that want to change things and ruin people's lives and it's uh disgusting in that sense well it's nice to see that she's actually getting roasted i mean a lot of people kind of make fun of her anyways but the whole oppression thing is just ridiculous and uh, i can't believe that she would uh, go out here and <laughs> actively go and say that she's legitimately impressed when she's holding ho holding a uh, video for good reward uh, has has a very expensive dress and wears and has millions of dollars. So I mean we we don't we don't resonate with you at all. Sorry. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.